What's up, Net Soldiers? I'm the Alliance, and welcome back. Today, I have a request to check out a ranker ranked list on ranker.com, and it's pretty much about the 43 most deserving uh, Star Wars characters to have their own like standalone film or origin story or something along those lines. Pretty much a movie that is dedicated directly to them. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, please want to like, subscribe, turn notifications, and also if you see rankers like this are uh, funny videos you want me to react to or just kind of have me check out something that was you know said by someone and you think it's ridiculous you want to hear my opinion on it make sure to share that to my discord i'll leave a link to that in the description below now with that said guys let us begin so the video is actually called 40 characters who deserve their own standalone film but um because there's 43 i decided to add the three into the video anyways another thing is if you hear noises in the background uh my wife and daughter are downstairs playing right now so apologize for that can't Really help it because you know everyone loves a child's laughter it's the most purest thing in the world so that's just how it's gonna be so there you go so this rank has been developed by 60,000 voters now not everyone has voted for every specific one but 60,000 votes have gone through on this video so let's check it out okay so for the first one it's Biv Fortuna and that is Jabba the Hutt's um, like side character, I'll be honest here. He's like his uh, assistant. I have no want in the world to see that. He can just disappear. I'm I'm okay with him in Return of the Jedi. He doesn't seem like a very interesting character, and he's kind of a gross dude. So I'm gonna move on from that one. Next one we have the Will Huff um, Tarkin. Okay, so of course, um, Grand Moff Tarkin. I would say that'd be a pretty interesting pass to see, especially considering Tarkin is very uh, like calculating kind of cool to see like maybe his rise in the republic i'd be okay with that i don't necessarily think it's like a thing i have to see but that'd be pretty cool to kind of check out uh jabba the hut another thing I, I really don't really care how jabba the hut rose to power i don't don't care i ultimately would just decide that um i'd be okay with him not doing that you know all right next one is from tr8r which is traitor and uh for me that's not actually his his actual uh numbers uh i actually forget what his number is but um, I don't really care about that. Don't need that one. Uh, next one we have Jar Jar Binks. I think that I would be okay with seeing Jar Jar's... I... Uh, never mind. Actually, I don't need to see Jar Jar's past. I'll just kind of leave it at that. Lumpy Chewbacca's son. I don't know if he's even canon anymore. But uh, I don't think he, he's definitely probably not canon, right? Yeah, Lumpy's not canon, so it doesn't really matter. Next one's Cad Bane. So Cad Bane would be interesting to kind of explore his past to see how he became what he became, or at least maybe have him as a side story on someone else's story. Um, but ultimately, I don't really think we need to explore his past because we know what type of character he is. And we, you can kind of put together that, yeah, he had a rough childhood, so you don't really need that. Next one, we have Rey. Rey, we really don't really explain anything. She's just pretty much just on Jakku for her entire life being boring, so I wouldn't really want to see that one. Next one's Wicket. Um... I don't need Wicked either. Uh, cool tube is a cool little uh, Ewok, but I don't really want to see that. That's just me, maybe, but that's how I feel. Next one's Admiral Akbar. Honestly, I love Akbar. You know, it's a trap, but I don't want to see a movie about him. Next one's from Poe Dameron, and honestly, Poe Dameron's cool, and I think that they explored some of his past in some of the novels. But to be honest, I'm okay with the character he is now after the Rise of Skywalker. I'd like to see more post. Rides a Skywalker Poe Dameron than pre Force Awakens. Maybe that's just me, but that's how I feel. Next, we have Kit Fisto. Kit would be cool to kind of explore too, especially if you consider his legends. Um, he was actually like in love with Ayla Sakura and they had like a little secret uh, relationship, I guess you could say. So that was kind of interesting. It would have been cool to kind of explore that. Don't need to see it necessarily, but I'm okay with that. Next one is Snoke. Okay, so. We technically got Snoke's origin, right? Uh, kinda. So, I'm just gonna let that one go. <laughs> I think at one time I wanted to see Snoke's, but now that we know where Snoke comes from, um, I'm okay with what it, what happened with him, I guess. Uh, well, I, I should say I'm okay with it, but I'm accepting of it, so let's just move on to the next one. Next one we have Commander Cody. And I would say this would be pretty cool. I mean, we get a lot of Commander Cody in the Clone Wars, so we don't necessarily need a film to himself. But it would be cool to kind of explore Commander Cody's psyche after, you know, he almost, well, after he thinks he killed his, 
his one of his best friends, General Kenobi. Especially with the Clone Wars being out, you know, when this first came out, when uh, Revenge of the Sith came out, the Clone Wars wasn't really a thing. I mean, in universe it was a thing, but the show wasn't. We didn't have all these extra explanations and uh, context to the relationships between the characters. Clones were pretty much just um, same face guys who just died in, in the background of some scenes, you know. Where Commander Cody was kind of the only clone that really had like an identity. So it would have been cool to kind of see what happens after that. Uh, the Clone Wars is, the, the final season is kind of going to be going over stuff after Order 66. So it would be interesting to kind of explore Cody's psyche after he turned on his, his allies. Um, like I said, with a lot of these, maybe it's just me, but that's how I feel. Next one we have Padme Amidala. Um, I think we got enough of Padme. I don't think there necessarily needs to be anything else on her. I know she just got a book that came out a couple, maybe like a year or two ago, which apparently does a really good job of explaining how she is and her character. So I don't necessarily think we have to explore that, but that was fine. I'll, I'll be okay with that if they wanted to do some along those lines. But maybe not a movie. Maybe like a Disney Plus six episode series kind of explaining more of her past you know talking about her father because apparently her father was a pretty influential character in the universe but we don't really get much information on him we only just get like a brief mention at some point and um it would be kind of interesting to see how like maybe where she got to the point where she wanted to you know get into politics and and where she got the love for that maybe it was over her father's death or she just wants to carry on his legacy or something along this line so that would be pretty interesting next one we have is um uh, Darth Malgus. And so Darth Malgus, of course, he is Legends because um, the SWOTOR doesn't... SWOTOR is kind of this weird thing because it's not canon and it's not really Legends either. It's kind of like more of like a supposed canon or maybe just a Legends canon <laughs> uh, because it still exists. It just isn't exactly part of the main canon of the universe. So... I'm going to guess that Darth Malgus is mostly probably going to be taken into the High Republic, the High Republic books that they're starting to write and stuff. His character will probably be transitioned for that universe. I think the majority of the things that they're going to do is instead of doing the Old Republic, they're going to do the High Republic and introduce a lot of themes and elements and even maybe some characters that we saw in the Old Republic are going to get brought to the High Republic and that's what they're going to, going to see. So I think it would be pretty interesting. Okay, next one is Darth Plagueis. Okay, so this one I think I would be 100% okay with. I would like to see a young Palpatine maybe getting taught by his master. I'd like to see where Palpatine got the evil side of him because he wasn't just born evil. You know, there was a point where someone, where Plagueis took him and made him evil. So I'd like to kind of see the, you know, his past explored because we've seen his, like, future. We see him die twice, you know? We've seen him perish. So... Let's kind of explore that a little deeper and see what we can we can find from that. Uh, next one is Kylo Ren. We kind of already got an explanation on Kylo. I would kind of like to see more of his downfall. It gets skipped over in episode uh, 7 and 8. You know, you, you think you're going to get a little bit more backstory on why he actually turned on Luke. And it was all because of, like, miscommunication type of situation with Snoke um, pretty much melding Kylo's mind to, to turn against Luke as well. And also melding Luke's mind to kind of be a fearful of his apprentice but overall it's um I guess I'd be okay with it maybe like like I said with Padme like a six episode you know animated series or something like that just kind of explaining a little deeper into his psyche and um you know just going further into how Snoke really did pull him or I should say Palpatine but it was he was acting as Snoke so technically just to see how Snoke really pulled him towards the dark side and at what point did he start to fall. Um, it'd just be cool to kind of explore that. Next one we have Galen Merrick. So this one's a pretty interesting one too because Galen Merrick is officially a legend. So there's no way he's going to be canon. But there has been callbacks to the point that he might be canon eventually. Um, or not, not him specifically, but characters are kind of taking his... Um, his qualities besides his super powerful strength, but like what he you know, represents and is kind of becoming that. Um, I would actually kind of say that Galen is sort of like Ezra um, in in the term of like what type of character arc they take. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain like that, but um, I would say kind of Ezra is the new canon version of Galen. Uh, just a little bit different as far as powers and the idea that he wasn't trained by Vader, but 
he definitely has some darkness in him and there is clearly some good amount of power inside of Ezra because we've seen in the shows he's kind of when when push goes to shove you know he can crank out some great power some great dark power so I do think he's kind of like the new Galen Merrick in a way um, I even if they uh, they don't though I'd, I'd like to see more on Galen you know kind of explore more of his character again maybe even bring him into the canon in his own movie of sorts I don't know all right next one we have Django Fett so this one is an interesting one for me too because I like Django Fett. I do. And I think that he needs so much more explanation on this character. He's one of the most underrated characters up with Count Dooku. You know, like, there's so much going on with him. And I would like to see a movie dedicated just to him. You know, a younger Django just kind of exploring. And we kind of get that with The Mandalorian. It'd, it'd, it'd probably feel along the, along the same lines as The Mandalorian. But there'd be something um, more. Because it'd be connected to Django Fett. You know, the original Mandalorian from... Well, I shouldn't say the original Mandalorian. As far as canon goes, he's not the original. But as far as like what we've known from Episode 2, he was kind of like the first. Now, of course, Clone Wars kind of changed that. So now he actually wasn't like the first and all that extra stuff that goes on to that. But I'd like to see at what point did he become a bad guy. Well, I shouldn't say bad guy. What point did he become the bounty hunter we know? And um, I'd like to just kind of see him more explore because he is underrated. Now, like I said, speaking of underrated, next one is Count Dooku. This one is probably the one I would want the most. Off the top of my head, besides one other, but I bet he's, I think he's on this list too, so I'll, I'll say him when I come across him. Dooku is probably the character I want to see the most. A younger Dooku story, even him exploring the idea of him, you know, wanting to get out of the, uh, the Jedi Academy um, and become... I shouldn't say he necessarily wants to become a Sith, but in order to achieve what he wants to do, he has to become a Sith, so therefore he did become one. Like that type of, um, you know, ideology with him. Just kind of explore more of what he's thinking when that when that happens. It'd also be cool to kind of see him grow younger. Or, sorry, be younger and grow older and kind of explore that type of history. I remember I had a book. I'm pretty sure it's Legends now. But I had a book that explored the idea of Dooku and his, his buddy when they were younger. And his buddy stole something and tried to pin it on Dooku. Or he asked... Dooku to lie for him and Dooku's like I'm not lying for you I'm not going down with you and so like that caused the whole issue but um Dooku just he wasn't like a guy who you know he didn't he didn't give in the crap you know he just kind of he, he was chill it's a weird way to say it but he, he was chill it's, it's true so I, I'd kind of like to be able to see more of Dooku next one's Asajj Ventress honestly with Asajj I don't necessarily think I need to see a movie about her um she's cool you know, I think the Clone Wars does a good job of showing how a character can really, you know, turn. You know, because in the first season, she is like an evil witch, you know. And by the end of the series, she's one of like your favorite characters. Like characters you actually identify with the most because you, you, you want her to succeed and, and become something more than what she was supposed to be. So that's cool, but I don't necessarily think I need to see any more uh, history. Okay, next one is Captain Rex. This is the same thing for me, like, with Asajj Ventress. Honestly, I don't need to see uh, a, a Rex movie. I like him. I think he's cool. But I think that what the Clone Wars does, the, the TV show is just perfect for him. So I don't necessarily think he needs to be have his own movie. Uh, Leia Organa, same thing as uh, Rex. I don't necessarily think she needs to have her own show. I think the original trilogy did fine with her. Uh, the child, I think we're going to get more on him, of course, as the Mandalorian goes on, but I don't necessarily think he needs his own movie, but I guess if he had his own movie, that'd be okay too. Uh, Mara Jade, so Mara Jade is probably one of, if not the biggest character people have wanted to bring from Legends back into canon, and I'm actually surprised they didn't do anything like that. Um, I thought they might even hint towards the idea that Luke might have had a girlfriend or a wife at some point, uh, but I guess that didn't work out. So yeah, she's... She's not there, but if they brought her in, I'd like to see a story on how they'd bring her in. But I think for right now, the current canon really just doesn't call for that being a thing. So we probably won't see that, but that would be cool. Next one, General Grievous. I think that'd be cool. I don't necessarily want to see Grievous back before he was a droid, but it would be cool to see, like I said, like a six issue or six episode series on Disney Plus animated series that kind of went into the deeper 
um, explanation on how Grievous became what we know of him. You know, when he was a normal organic being, when he pretty much got obliterated, and when he got enhancements, and the the different challenges he had to kind of face to to focus, and how he became more angry at certain things. I just think that'd be more interesting to see. So this is the 501st Legion. Uh, for me, I guess I'd I'd like to necessarily see what the other 501st characters are thinking, but you could do that by just kind of going with Rex, um, having their own standalone film. Now this would be more of like a previous thing. You, you, you see this in the Clone Wars, and you see these characters in Order 66. So it'd be, it'd, it'd be kind of cool to explore some of these extra characters to see what happened after that. Um, but as far as like origin story, I, I couldn't see that happening. Um, Thrawn. So Thrawn is in Rebels now. Um, there's apparently a sequel to Rebels being made, like, in the works. It's a rumor right now, but it hasn't been confirmed. But Thrawn's going to be, we're going to see more of him. And kind of, like, this new series is going to probably follow him anyways. So that would probably be what's, what's that's going to happen. Uh, Lando Calrissian. We saw him younger in, in Solo. I don't necessarily think there needs to be more of him. Darth Bane. We're going to get something off of Darth Bane. I don't know if it's a movie. I don't know if it's going to be like a, a, a series on Disney+. Plus. But Darth Bane is definitely getting something done about him. I think he might actually be in the High Republic time period. They, they might do something like that. They'll probably bring him up. Because I think he's actually actually even more like thousands of years older than that. But they'll probably bring him up just to, to match that time period. Uh, next one is Chewbacca. I don't necessarily want to see a, a, a previous Chewbacca story. Um... Yeah, I like Chewbacca, but I don't need to see a movie about him. Uh, he, he's a good side character, but I couldn't, couldn't imagine him being like a main character. Next one is Palpatine. So this is a younger Palpatine kind of exploring. I said this earlier with the Darth Plagueis, but I'd like to see Palpatine for sure. Uh, next one, Darth Plagueis. I think I just, I never did Plagueis, but I guess he's on here twice. I guess people want him that bad. He's on, he's on the ranker twice. So that's cool. Uh, like I said, I'd like to see a Darth Plagueis. Uh, cool little film where Plagueis and Palpatine are kind of exploring what, what, you know, the idea of the dark side and Palpatine is really becoming the evil person we know. It'd be kind of cool to see that. Next one, Darth Vader. I don't really see a reason to do a Darth Vader film unless it's like when he is Vader, because we can't, you can't do like a, a previous film back when he's Anakin because we have episodes one, two, and three and the Clone Wars. There's not really a point to, to go back even farther than that. So maybe it would be cool to kind of see Vader coming to grips with the darkness and really just kind of exploring his character um, between the events of like episode uh, three and episode four, or I should say Rogue One, you know, somewhere between there, just putting like a little story or something where it shows where he truly falls the dark side or something along those lines. So that'd be pretty interesting. Uh, next one's Ahsoka Tano. Yeah, I agree. I think Ahsoka Tano will well you know what i actually think ahsoka is good clone wars because clone wars is kind of her story um and of course she's in rebels too i guess i'd like to maybe see a movie between those two time periods you know by the time we see her last in clone wars and by the time we see her in rebels maybe kind of explore more of the deeper themes behind that and how she got from point a to point b that'd be pretty cool um so yeah i guess i'd be okay with that but i don't think she necessarily needs a movie you know uh, next one would be Qui-Gon Jinn. For me, love Qui-Gon. He is the number one character that we should see a, a, a prequel about. We should see him as a younger Padawan dealing with his more angry, um, more aggressive master, Count Dooku. And just see how he became the character, the wise, older uh, Jedi we had, you know, we had seen in Episode 1. So... I think Qui-Gon needs more explanation, especially since they really wiped out a bunch of his Legends information. Like, everything Legends about him has since been wiped out. Because it turns out they actually, they uh, went back and they decreased his age to so that Count Dooku could have another Padawan in canon. So that's weird how they did that. So now he's, instead of being 60 like he initially was, and uh, like, like three years ago he was 60, Disney actually made him now 48. So, or 42, 42 or 48, whatever the case, they made him younger, a lot younger, almost 20 years younger. So that is something to consider. That's a whole 20 years of legends he just lost. So let's explore more of his character. 
Uh, and I would love like a six episode animated series on Qui-Gon just kind of doing something with in the past and maybe even how he came across Obi-Wan and how they formed a relationship of a master and apprentice. So that'd be cool. Next one is Mace Windu. So this is a good one because Mace Windu, I'd like to see how, at what point did he become like the badass Jedi he became? At what point did he just kind of be like, I don't give a F anymore, you know? And he just, he just became who he became. I just think it'd be kind of cool to see that. Or even if he survived episode three, see what happened there. So that'd be cool. Uh, next one's Revan. So Revan is going to be in this last season of Clone Wars. It would be cool to see them explore that, but I think they might actually take Revan and move him into the High Republic era. I don't think like the times really work out that way, but that's what they're probably going to do along those lines. I don't know. Like with all these, like I said, that's just my opinion, but they'll probably do that. Next one's Darth Maul. I'd like to see a, a uh, prequel to Darth Maul's life. You know, when Darth Maul was found by Palpatine and the extra information that, that goes on to like him becoming what he became, you know, because he was essentially just a pawn until Palpatine could find a true apprentice. Um, he's not even a... At one point, back when I was a kid, he was considered a Sith Lord, but now the new canon has changed it, so now he's just a Sith Assassin, so he never became a Lord. So, I think that's interesting. And of course, we come to the third one, and this is Boba Fett. I think this is cool. I don't necessarily think that Boba Fett gets enough love. So I would like to see more um, more information on after episode six. So it hasn't actually been confirmed yet as far as canon goes. In legend it has, and it's kind of been referenced and even kind of like hinted at, but we don't have any true confirmation on Boba Fett in canon. So the hint is that he actually did survive the Sarlacc pit. The question is, what happened to him after that. So, let's see that in a movie. I'm okay with seeing that in a movie. If not a movie, give me a mini series on, on uh, Disney Plus. Next one, Kenobi. So we already know Kenobi, he's, he's getting his own series. Uh, he's getting his own, it was initially supposed to be a movie, but they changed it to a Disney Plus show. And he's getting that on, I think that is being filmed like right now. It got pushed back for re some reason. I don't exactly remember why, but it got pushed back, but it will be out. McGregor has already confirmed it, so it's going to be cool to kind of see how they're going to go about that. And last, but not least, Yoda. So here is the thing about Yoda. People have been asking since we found out about Han Solo's movie, where, that people were speculating, what well, we're going to see next. We're going to see an Obi-Wan movie. We're going to see a Boba Fett movie. Um, and when I heard the Yoda idea of a movie, I said to myself, I don't need to see a Yoda movie. Now, while I don't necessarily want to see a Yoda movie where he becomes a Jedi, I think it would be cool to see a movie about someone else or another person's story, and then that's how Yoda happens upon the Jedi along that path. You know, like, like kind of like he'd be a supportive character on this journey. Mostly because I just don't think it necessarily would be fun to see Yoda become a Jedi, and that would just be the story. Uh, I want to see there's there's something more going on besides that. So maybe that's just me, like I keep saying, but that's how I feel, guys. So there you go. That is this 60,000 votes rankers list. This is the top 43 uh, Star Wars characters that people have voted to, to have their standalone films. How do you guys think about this? Do you think these were good? Do you think these were bad? Did you agree with any of them? Did you really disagree with any of them? Let me know in the comments below. Who did they miss? Like I said, let me know down there. Please remember to like, subscribe, and notifications for more videos. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.